The debugger settings add-in is a way to save a number of breakpoints and the settings on those breakpoints that you've set into your application. And there's really two reasons why you might want to do this. One is that you've gone to a great deal of trouble setting up something up to try to reproduce a bug and you need those breakpoints again later when you're going to say confirm your fix but you need to do something else because your phone's rung and you need to go set some different breakpoints so you want to be able to get them back at a different time the other is that you might actually want to be able to take all of those settings about what lines and the conditions and so forth for the breakpoints and bring them onto another machine so that you can try to reproduce the bug on some other machine that has slightly different installation it's a simple enough add-in to use and it's installed into this copy of Visual Studio. I have um, a small application here which has quite a few breakpoints in it. If you've never brought the breakpoints window up, it's under Debug Windows Breakpoints. So you can see I have quite a few of them here and I can double click any one of them to go there and their symbols appear in the, in the side margins. Now this add-in was written by a developer for developers and it works with the command window that's available under other windows on the view menu and you're actually expected to interact with it by typing but you do get uh, IntelliSense to help you so if I say debugger settings save to file I'm prompted as to where I might like to do that I'm going to put it on my desktop just because that makes it easy to find and um, I'll just call it breakpoints saved four valid breakpoints. Now I'm going to clear them all, debug, delete all breakpoints. Yep, I'm sure. Okay, they're all gone. If I check in the breakpoints window, they're all gone. Back in the command window again. Again, I'll say debugger settings dot restore from file. There's the file. Open. Restored four breakpoints. You can see one of them has come up here. If I go into this window, there they all are. All my breakpoints have come back, including their slightly uh, tricky settings, like that they might have a condition on them and only break. Uh, this guy only breaks in the second half of his loop from 1 to 10. He only goes on uh, when, when it's greater than 6. And this one um, only every third time that it's hit. If you didn't know you could set these things on breakpoints, that's another thing that you can uh, discover to make you a more productive developer. But being able to just save all of your breakpoints, clear them away, do some different work and bring them back whenever you like, or save all of your breakpoints and go over to a different machine with different um, prerequisites, different network connections, so forth and so on, and magically have all those breakpoints set in that same machine, going to make you a much more productive debugger.